What is up, planet? It is The Priest, and I'm back with another Pick a Card reading. In today's Pick a Card reading, I'm going to be looking at encouraging messages from your future self. Now, remember that these messages are going to connect with you beyond time and space. So it doesn't really matter what time you're here or what year you're in, because this is going to be a timeless video. Now, overall, this reading is going to be centered on encouraging words from your future self moving forward on your soul journey. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the Tarot Priest channel. This is a different particular channel. So on this channel, we're gonna be focusing on spiritual content, pick a card readings, and also messages from your higher self. A lot of these messages are going to come from a very deep, profound place. So it is not going to be by coincidence that you guys are here. If you are on this video, I do feel like there's an encouraging message. A lot of the messages here today are gonna to be confirmations of things that you guys were already thinking about, but may have been overlooking. So if you guys are new to the Tarot channel, welcome to the Tarot Tribe. We embrace love, happiness, freedom, and most importantly, truth. We also have a lot of deep, profound messages here. Also, if you guys have been with me and waiting patiently, thank you so much. I took a couple of months to really rejuvenate myself and getting back on the track. Because remember, we're readers, but we are also going through our own spiritual awakenings. And so shout out to all of you who are readers or are looking to do readings or maybe you feel like you are already a light worker. Just know that you are appreciated from me to you because it's an honor to be able to bring these messages to you. If you guys have not already signed up for the Soul Journey webinar, so the Soul Journey webinar is going to be featured every month at the end of the month with just a handful group of people who are looking to ascend. And this month's topic is all about the truth in love. We'll be talking about what love really is. And if you guys are looking for that link, along with my booking link, you will only find one official link and all of that will always be in my description box below or on my website, thetarotpriest.com. And overall, what you're going to be thinking about is encouraging messages from future self. So the question is, what does my future self want me to know along the lines of encouraging messages? So we have four different decks that you guys can choose from. Deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. All right, I'm excited to get into this reading and see what your future self has for you. Special messages regarding encouragement. Let's hop into the reading and see what you have. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your message for encouraging messages from your future self. Strength and guidance. Boundaries. You know what's crazy, deck number one? When I was shuffling out where you're going i also felt like your energy field really needs a sense of decluttering i was also feeling a lot of energy around <laughs> around you so you guys could have been going between deck three if you were i would also suggest you to go and watch that deck because i'm feeling like that's the next step after you set these boundaries and also declutter your energy field deck number one i'm also sensing that this is about people in your energy field so remember that everyone has their own frequency of energy that they carry based on how they feel and we feel different every day and i'm sensing that many of the feelings that you're feeling do not really belong to you but is more of the absorption of others so yeah seven politics so we have the seven of swords here which is all about treacherous behavior but also just betrayal not really knowing who to trust so this encouraging message is understanding that you may not feel like you have many people around you that you can trust. However, this is a perfect opportunity for you to strengthen that connection with your guides, your angels, and higher self. Now, your future self is saying that you have this, you got this. Now, some of the adjustments that you're making now are also to get you in a better place financially. Now, what you have right now in your life I'm sensing that your future self is seeing more for you. And this is financially, but also the benefit of better connections. And better connections is just simply what I'm seeing is more of a harmony with people who are at harmony or in harmony with themselves. Okay. So a lot of this, again, has nothing to really do with you. It just seems like you're at the center in the core of many things. Now, your future self is definitely leading you towards more of a stable foundation of luxury and also abundance. So what you have now, future self is saying there is more for you to obtain, but there is a foundation that you are building. So this encouragement is not to give up, 
but to understand that through it all, because remember, your future self is, is way ahead of you. So while you're in the midst of it, it may not be easy to get clarity of the things around you. However, your angel guidance card is strength and guidance, meaning that if you reach, you will receive. Reaching out. I'm seeing more of a reaching out for help when it comes to allowing spiritual guidance into play. Again, this is angels, higher self, future self, spirit self. You know, we have so many terms, but really this is the true version of yourself. So boundaries, where do you need to establish better boundaries? It says your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. So many of you are also being shifted in the mind, which again, deck three is going to be really touching on a lot of that. And this shift is so that you can learn how to stay in alignment. And this alignment is just simply doing what you love. That is an alignment, doing what you love, what you desire, being in tune with these things. So what spirit is saying is focus your, your energy on what you want to happen and not what could go wrong. So that's another thing that you guys are learning. Many of us are learning this. It doesn't really matter, you know, where you feel like you are spiritually. Many of us are learning how to still balance, focusing on things that we truly desire and not the unnecessary. It says release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. So the nine of swords comes to say that there is peace. There is clarity. However, there needs to be an establishment of better boundaries for you to be able to have that sense of time and space for yourself. Raindrops. Take a chance on them. So yeah, this is also getting comfortable with the new. So there's going to be some uncomfortable changes happening within the next year for you. This is going to get you into a path of much more happiness and also establishing a closer connection with your intuition. When you have this connection with source, higher self, future self, this allows you to have peace of mind knowing that the strength that you bear comes from a much deeper place. So I'm sensing that there is a deeper spiritual connection that you're going to be receiving within the next year. And again, spiritual meaning tuning into your soul, nothing crazy, nothing crazy, but really tuning into your soul's desire when you connect with your future self, you should feel a sense of strength and courage and guidance. And if you are not, then spirit is saying, okay, let's come back to this place now. However, you must establish better boundaries. I'm seeing new connections coming in, new things for you. New is the word. However, new can feel very uncomfortable. So taking a chance on it means that there are going to be some new connections that may feel uncomfortable at first, but take a chance on them and you will be surprised at where it will lead you to. We also have potion. Remember to practice self-love. Another message I was getting for deck number one heavily was love, love, love. The true meaning of love, okay? And that love is not based on being in a relationship, but a frequency of energy that you're learning to practice even for yourself. So a lot of you who are dealing with difficult love situations, just for a few of you, okay, you're learning how to cut people off, understanding that there are better connections to make, okay? So that's for some of you. Now with this comes the practice of self-love, giving all that you want to give to another. Some of you are just unconsciously givers, which is a beautiful thing. You're a server, but also to remember to give this to yourself. Uh, a lot of you are not reciprocating this in many of the connections around you. It could be with employment. It can also be, again, with the people closest to you. Let's just see why the Seven of Swords is here. Why is the Seven of Swords here for deck one? Thank you. The lovers, yeah. So this is a love connection I'm, I'm sensing needs some space. I'm keeping it real with you guys. And I'm only saying that because there is much more. See, it's hard to really look forward when we don't see the better coming. I can see that there is a better connection. Um, even if you're still trying to make it work with this person, there is a better time. So you may find yourself in a position of questioning certain situations and relationships. And I'm getting, again, we have Gemini energy, but I'm getting the lovers in reverse, which means that 
there needs to be more honesty in relationships in general around you. And that's kind of where the, the boundaries are set. And usually if you have to set boundaries, it's because people are taking more than their share. That's genuinely what I hear your future self saying. So the encouragement is to know that there are more connections than you can even imagine that are going to give you more of what you're giving out. So you'll be able to reciprocate that back. So this is definitely for some of you, a love connection that I'm seeing um, needs some space so that you can focus on giving all of that love and goodness to yourself, to yourself. And so some of you are learning to think about yourself, which is a beautiful thing. We have the seven of cups, time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want and take action. A need for detoxification. So spirit is saying that you want to feel better. The encouragement is to simply set boundaries, find a space for you to have clarity, practice this self-love, giving back to yourself, and weave together the crown you deserve. I love it. This is about understanding what you are here to receive, okay? You are meant to receive good things. I see a lot of financial things that uh, your spirit wants you to start watering certain seeds, but the energy is emotional. It feels like you could be an empath, okay? Now, if you haven't already heard of this, or maybe you've never known this to be, but your future self highly, highly believes in you and supports you through your destiny, all the way to the finish line. Your future self is, is at the finish line cheering you on to continue the race. So the real question is, what do you believe you deserve? Because your, your future self is saying that you deserve more finances, you deserve better connections, honest connections, truthful connections, new connections. You deserve to have strength and guidance with the allowance of letting your higher self in. So you deserve the crown. You are royalty. Deck number one, if someone has not told you yet, you are learning so much of who you are and not, not the simple things like, oh, I love pizza and I love these things. I mean the depths of your soul. That's what this is about. A lot of people would call it the dark night of the soul because it definitely feels that way, but luck is on your side. You could be a Sagittarius. We have Sagittarius energy. Luck is on your side. And also <laughs> deck one is taking a step back. Having trust is taking a step back. Honestly, taking a step back from situations and allowing them to work themselves out because I am also seeing that you're just getting caught in the midst of many things, but luck is on your side. Okay, so this is all also encouragement for you to move forward. It's crazy that justice came out because I was genuinely feeling like many of you are going to receive the justice you've been looking for. And some of that is in the new connections, the new job, the new home, the new, 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 whatever it may be. So when it's uncomfortable at first, just remember that this may be the justice knocking at your door. So just because you cannot familiarize what it is, don't push it away because there are opportunities coming. And I'm seeing you will have many opportunities come your way. Time to make a decision is not just should I go, should I stay? This is more of should I go, should I stay, if I stay, if I do this. These are many decisions that you will have to make. It's not just like a one, one decision that I'm seeing. So you guys could be a Libra. We have justice energy. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. See, the only way you can lose the race is if you quit because you truthfully already won the race. That is the truth. That's what you're learning is that you've already won the race, which is why you deserve the crown. But that goes back to the relationship with you and future self, higher self, whatever you choose to call it. All right. We have nine of Ariel. It's crazy. We have nine of Ariel twice. We have one blockage card, nine of Ariel in reverse, and we also have it in the upright. Your dreams are fulfilled. See, the race is over. You've already won. This is the significance of being on the right side, and that's the side of light, love, source, universe, all things good. Okay, knowing that you will know already in your heart, your dreams are already fulfilled. You're just kind of catching up to this future self of yours. Hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. So spirit is also saying, pay attention to all of the things that are happening around you that are very beautiful. Sometimes we focus on all that is going on that we forget 
to see the rainbow. So nine of Ariel, let's see why this is here. Temperance, we have Sagittarius energy again. At the bottom, we have the King of Pentacles, and I was really feeling that. Remember when I said royalty? I really meant that. I really mean that for you, deck number one. This isn't by coincidence that you chose this deck. This message getting through to you is to remember who you are. You are connected to the most high royalty, okay? We have the King of Pentacles. You are meant to have financial freedom in this lifetime. This is what this is all about. But how do we get there? We think that we have to do practical things. There is a spiritual connection here. Temperance, look at this, this is beautiful. Where you get your wings. See, that's the thing, we try to skip steps sometimes, but that's where we get our wings. So we have this temperance. This temperance is also a reminder to reconcile with your true self, not forgetting who you are. And again, I keep saying, I don't know if anyone has told you, but I genuinely feel like maybe people do not see you truly for who you are because there is royalty here. There is luxury, financial success, but there's also an understanding of self. And that's also where you currently are. Three of Pentacles. Financially, I'm seeing that you are definitely here to obtain financial freedom. It seems like there has been some discouragement along the path with that. Let's see what that is about. Transformation. We have death. Yes, this is the dark night of the soul. This is an ego death. Okay, so this ego death, remember your ego is a false identity. Okay, it's just, it's just the person who we are, right? Tarot priest, wears glasses, big hair. These are just identifying the body. There is a deeper connection here. But in order to do that, the concept of ourself, right? The concept of me, this new way of seeing yourself, death number one, is trying to emerge. Okay, so there is an emerging happening right now and it can feel painful because many things end. Okay, we also have the burden, six of swords, moving out of the way you used to think. Okay, deck three is definitely going to be for you too. Um, man, beautiful messages here. Okay, so encouragement is also feature yourself saying, would you put that weight down? Would you put the burden down? Would you put those thoughts down? Would you stop worrying? spending all of this energy worrying focus on what you desire with that energy rather than what can go wrong okay so the burden of how you used to think that's painful right to 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 try to maneuver our way to think new think a different way so that's what is happening too but you are maturing even when it comes to this sense of independence okay being able to create your own source of energy and happiness without the need for things people jobs, money, you know, really just being happy no matter what. So that's also what's happening is the maturing stage is happening with the flowering, becoming this queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles. All right. Now who you're becoming personal choice that I swear I knew you guys got this card. That's scary. I'm super, super connected to this deck. Again, I slept on this last night and I really felt like you guys have so many beautiful things coming and right now it feels very painful and I understand we go through many ego deaths because we have many different things that we have to get rid of so that we can embrace new and better. That's what I'm seeing for you, new and better. Close your eyes, what animal do you imagine? What strengths are they known for? What wisdom do they share? You also may embrace these qualities quickly. Now the question to ask yourself is, how can I be more kind to myself and offer more grace in this very moment? And when I sense the kindness, this is also being hard on yourself, also overthinking things, um, the expectation set on yourself, you know, allow some freedom in there so that you can see just how beautifully you are already ready to fly. Growing our self-love is medicine to this world's broken heart. When you heal, we all heal. When you give yourself more grace, you are able to give the world more grace. Remember when I said earlier, people around you must have harmony with themselves. They must be happy and content within themselves for them to then celebrate you also for your accomplishments and happiness and things that you're doing. It says, look at yourself with the grace filter. You are meant to be in this moment of your life. Release the inner critic, meaning being hard on yourself, that little voice. Okay, that's where this ego death is happening. The way you see yourself, the way you talk to yourself, okay? Hype yourself up. Become your greatest cheerleader. 
rather than your greatest critic. That's what I'm really strongly feeling for you, deck number one. Now, your overall purpose message is spiritual decree. All right. You have been wondering what will happen next in your life, not realizing how much power you have to decide that for yourself. What do you wish to have happen next? Are you willing to use your divine birthrights of free will, voice and empowerment to set the cosmic wheels in motion? If your answer is yes, then it is time to speak your truth to the universe, declare it and decree it and it shall be. So what you say goes. So make sure you're saying what you want the most. All right, deck number one, this was a juicy message. I'm hoping that this gave you some clarity and some encouragement along the way to remember who you are and remember where you're going. Remember that you have help on your side. Remember that you have strength and guidance, that you are connected to the most high. These are the important things that you are to take on your journey. So if you guys chose deck number one, don't forget to comment down below so I can personally get some words of feedback to you or maybe you feel like encouraging someone else. Please feel free to share your message, your stories down below in the comment section. In the meantime, moving on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and encouraging messages from your future self. Deck two, I have some beautiful messages already at the bottom of the deck. We have the four of wands and the star card. This is to bring hope. This is a sign of hope. And I'm just really hoping that this message encourages you. Sun, look at that already. Number 11. So one, one or 11 could be a very important number to you. You may be seeing that very frequently. This also means a new beginning, a new start. That's usually where the one comes in. Remember that everything starts with zero. Many people forget that. But one is truly that new beginning. And so the one one comes and it says, paint the sun back into your sky. So it is now time for you to turn this energy into a higher frequency of energy. And I'm just sensing so much gratitude, so much love from your higher self, um, higher self, future self, spiritual self, the truth is, is that this is just your true self who happens to live beyond space and time. Okay, that would be your future self. We have the Queen of Ariel, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Michael. Some of you are moving forward. Some of you may feel like you're in a tunnel or coming out of a tunnel. And what really gets you through this stage in your life is going to be from what your future self is saying is to continuously see the light at the end of the tunnel, to focus on the light when things around you may seem dark, may seem discouraging, may seem like they're not going to get better. This is a reminder from your future self. <laughs> it's time to wake up and focus on the light because it is there. Uh, what happens is the dark becomes overwhelming because it convinces us that it's so great. And then the light comes in and whispers, which is your future self. Hey, there's a sign of relief. Breathe, make new plans, relocation or travel. So some of you may be making these new plans, may not go as expected. We also have nurtured yourself and those you love, the ability to make anything more beautiful, practical and wise advice, okay? So again, when I say wake up, this is see the truth and know that spirit has got your back. You are connected. You have angels, you have guidance, and not to give up because, again, the hope card is there. Now, this is also what happens is we have the control in reverse, okay? So we have another sword card. What happens is we get so much into our head, we don't know how things are going to happen. We try to take control over things, and future self is truly saying to release this control and trust. That's the only way that you'll be able to do this is just to relinquish this control over the situation and give it to the hands of your future self universe. We have intuition and downloads, okay? Your angel message is all about intuition and downloads. So with the one one, that is also a sign of downloads coming in. So if you're not dreaming at night, okay? If you're, you're not sleeping, these certain things will make a difference in how you're able to receive your downloads, what you're eating, certain things will block you from being able to see. And when I say the light, light is hope. Okay. And so when we can't see that, we get scared. We're, you know, we're still having this human experience. So courage is here. Leo energy. We don't know how it's going to happen. And deck two, future self, I feel like is saying, once you start questioning how right there, you're not trusting because we will not know how to get through this tunnel. 
We are connected to much more higher things that just happen to work in our favor. How they work in our favor, many times we don't know. And so those things we don't know, we can't comprehend, can feel very scary, but that's where spirit comes in. Okay, so let's just see the miser. Four of Pentacles clinging to the past. Change. So the wheel. You guys are going through a new change. Um, turning a new leaf in your life. Let's just see what this clinging to the past is here. Deck two. Encouraging messages in your finances also. Many of you may have been thinking about career changes, career growth, career expansion. Career, career, career is here. Okay. Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This is all about mental enslavement. So right now, you will may feel like you don't have the clarity to see in this situation. I genuinely feel like either you are you could be getting out of the storm, you could be in the storm, the storm could be coming. I want you to take that how it resonates. This storm is just an overwhelming sense of not knowing what's going to happen. Okay? And so the Eight of Swords is it's hard to manifest more finances, love, and happiness when we are focused on all of the things that may not go right also. So you're breaking this cycle of how you're thinking about things, letting go of control and trusting that, look, some of you have really big plans and should be open to future self coming in to assist with these plans. Now remember, future self already knows your plans before you get here. That's why we call it future self way before our time. So I'm sensing that, let's see, three of swords, yeah. We have the heartbreak card. A lot of you may be healing from certain situations that you had to let go of. Let's see why the miser is here. Four of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Ten of Cups. Career, finding your place. Everything is working out. Let's see exactly what Spirit wants to tell you. This is a new cycle, okay? Now, we have the Wheel of Fortune here in reverse, but then we have... The other tarot that I just pulled and got the Wheel of Fortune again in the upright, which means that stepping out of the way and allowing this new leaf to turn in your life is what's going to bring you the most favorable success. And success was a word I seen earlier today. I thought you guys had that. Yeah, success. You guys had the most cards um, when it came to the blockages and certain things that you're dealing with in any other deck. So we have the sorrow and the success. This really, really feels like a dream. Okay. It really feels like you guys had dreams at one point of time. Some of you could have gotten caught up in work, straight away from your dreams. Future self is saying, get back to your dreams. Get back to that excitement. Get back to what makes you happy. You know, even if you have to take that extra time off and go to the playground and swing, you know, whatever it is to bring back this innocence of happiness in your life, it's, it's that simple. That's something, too, that I'm hearing for you. Deck number two is that happiness does not have to be complicated. It's, it's just that simple as following those things that bring happiness into your life are also going to bring in the most success. Now, we do have Queen of Ariel, which is all about financial security. Let's clarify one more card for, for their career. Finances. Thank you. Ten of Swords, yeah. Some endings. Some of you want more. We have the artists at the bottom of the deck. Some of you have entrepreneurship goals. You have dreams and there is success there. But there is some fear of having to let go of some things. You know, we get comfortable at job positions. We get comfortable sitting in the same seat, taking the same route to work, same friends. That's what's changing for you. But it's beautiful because what I'm seeing is that this is allowing more financial success into your life with the Queen of Ariel. You will also be a very generous person when it comes to income. So that's also something I'm seeing that future self is saying that in this life, you do have success. You do have financial freedom. You do have more abundance for you. However, this is about the courage to break through some of these other doubts that you have towards bringing happiness into your life. Now, working your light, council of light, divine orchestration. So this is saying that be open to help, be open to guidance, divine orchestrated and helpers. So many of you have ancestors connected here. If you haven't seen my pick a card on your ancestors and messages from your ancestors, I would definitely look into that as well because you do have a council of light. So you are not just here alone on this journey. You are a part of a soul team, a soul tribe, a, a, a team or I should say a friendship or a community that will allow you to 
be happy, find yourself, and also point you in the right direction towards fulfillment. Because all in all, what you are seeking is fulfillment in your relationships, in your career, and you do have the help and the need to get there. I'm just seeing that some things are ending for some new beginnings to, to go. So if you want to, you can focus on the endings that are happening or focus your excitement on the new things that are to come. Confidence is the key to success, Leo. Leo energy. This is all about Leo energy. You guys might be doubting yourself. You may be going through a very small period of doubt. I'm also sensing future self is saying that that is temporary. Okay? So when you have these doubtful thoughts, pay attention to them. See where they come from. Okay? Confidence is your key and the best confidence is going to come from getting that assurance and clarity from your intuition so that you can find this fulfillment. This is a new leaf that you're turning, okay? And it almost feels like a new decade. So some of you may be breaking generational cycles. So if your mom did something that your grandma did, your grandma, grandma, or your father, or something traditional, you may not be that traditional person. You may be going a different route, deck number two. A personal issue reaches resolution. So some of you are looking for resolutions. I'm seeing that coming in, especially with your work. I do see that there's something here that's going to benefit you based on whatever you have in a sense of skillmanship. So if you want to learn more, I do see opportunities where you're learning more skillmanship, but I also feel like there are going to be jobs, promotions, careers set in stone based on your expertise. So some of you will reach this resolution uh, financially and it's coming from an opportunity. Evil queen, you deserve sugar, not salt. So this is what you're learning is getting paid for all of your hard work fairly. And if you're in a situation where you're feeling taken advantage of or drained in your employee, employment situation, I'm seeing that there is success here, but you must trust this journey. And for some of you, it is an entrepreneurship journey. Expectations don't seek anyone's approval. This is where you're learning that you are already enough. There is no approval needed for even going back after your dreams, chasing back over your dreams. So some of you may have lost track with these dreams. Now you're catching back up, but you're not going to get everyone else's approval because you are taking a different path and not many people have seen your path taken in a successful manner. So because they're discouraged does not mean you have to be discouraged. So that's what I'm getting from this expectation card. Now you guys had two questions that came out. Let's see what this is about. What boundaries need to be created or strengthened within my relationship? Some of you could have been going between one, the orange stone. I'd advise you to go back and listen to that also because that's all about the connections and the boundaries. And you also just got this. It says to create more healthy boundaries, we must first get in tune with our own needs, desires, and feelings. Believe that you are worthy of them. In your relationships, it's essential to know where they end and where they begin. So this, for some of you, I am seeing at your job. How can I surrender even more in this moment? It is essential to have clear, strong intentions of what you desire, but it's equally important for you to detach the outcome. It's time to surrender. Let the universe have some breathing room to work, which is exactly what I was saying in the sense of trust. You know, once we start stepping in and start taking over control, start putting our hands on stuff, that's usually because we're like, okay, let me go ahead and just take care of this because I don't know if the universe is going to make this happen in time. And so let go of the wheel and trust so deeply that your trust turns into gratitude for what you cannot see. And you know it's coming. That's the excitement. So painting the sun back into your sky, deck number two, is going to come from getting back to those dreams, getting back to focusing on where your sun was. Okay? Some of us are trying to paint suns in dark places as far as family situations, relationships, uh, relationships in general, work situations. And we're wondering why every time we come back into work, the sun is no longer there. We have to keep painting it. That's because this is not a natural place for the sun to shine, okay? So basically, where you're trying to be happy is the environment that you're in that feels like you're working against it to, to try to find this happiness for yourself in this job and in this career. But there's more for you. The lion. So you guys could definitely be a Leo. Okay, we have a lot of Leo vibes here. We had the Leo come out twice. Now we have the lion again. Okay, so this is about remembering who you are. 
higher calling. You have within you all the courage you need. Here's the courage again. Let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. You will find success and contentment with those by your side, meaning don't worry about who's going to be there when you're, when you get there, focus on getting there and then they will meet you there. The right people make noble choices for your life and for your tribe. So you do have a higher calling, a higher purpose. So most of you, the encouragement is that you're going through this awakening stage of figuring out your purpose, what you want to do, where your compassion and excitement is, where your inspiration is at and creating the job in the perfect life around that versus the other way around. Remember I was saying with the sun, it's like we're forcing, trying to be happy in this environment we know does not create that energy. So we must leave. But in order to leave, we must trust. So your message, your light worker message from your future self is unplug from mass consciousness. This is one of my favorite, favorite light worker cards. I'm gonna read a quick sample. There is a belief system based on fear. We've heard that a lot, huh? Doubt and distrust that is known as mass consciousness. It says it's safer to stay with the crowd, not to question what you have been taught. It says you cannot trust the divine to take care of your financial well-being or your emotional needs. It says you should be afraid and not take risks. It says that if you dare stand up and live your truth, you'll be lost, alone, humiliated, rejected, or even destroyed. You are being guided to unplug from that system of beliefs. You are capable of a more creative, loving, and soul-satisfying way of living. To access this, let go of the way that is too small for your soul. So your soul has these big, big dreams, and that's where the sun comes, that's where the inspiration comes, that's where the fun and excitement comes. And then the mind comes in and, and is like, no, we have to work, we have to survive, remember, we have to do this, and we have to do it this way. And that's also a mass consciousness way of thinking is to do what everyone else does and to follow what is not fear. Now, the consciousness level here that I'm seeing for you to unplug is that again, you are a trendsetter. You are here to start a new path. Many people may have questions and opinions about that, but remember that you're unplugging from this mass consciousness way of living and saying that fulfillment is more important, happiness, peace, my love, and the bliss that is meant for me is more important than doing things just because everyone else is doing them or because they say we should. So you're going through a place of disconnecting from those past thoughts, clinging to the past of what we thought we could achieve and what we thought we can do and what we thought we could have and, and maintain is now going to be even bigger than you can imagine. So your mind has to move out of the way because it's thinking a little bit too small for where spirit wants to take you. So if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading for encouraging messages. Please feel free to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys or feel free to encourage another person underneath the comment section. In the meantime, I'm moving on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and encouraging messages from future self. Deck number three, you have been in my spirit for the past day. I shuffled these decks yesterday and I had a heavy, heavy, loving, loving message for you guys. And I definitely feel like there's going to be some celebrations to come, rewards, accomplishments, many, many, many great things before you. So I'm seeing that it's now, it's your time. I'm strongly feeling like it's your time to receive. We have nostalgia, focus on the here and now and do it for you. So when you make the change, yeah. So there's definitely some changes. As you see, she's cutting her hair. I feel like this could also be like a transformation, a makeover. Maybe some of you are wanting to tap into this new energy of creation. And I also feel like this is becoming the greatest version of yourself. So some of you are gonna be surprised at this glow up. It feels like a glow up that you're getting ready to have. Many people are going to recognize this, but this is the key indicator of deck three, is that you're doing it for you. See, when you do it for you, you don't have to question whether or not you made the right decision. So deck three, you are learning how to create your reality 
for your own personal individual happiness and then adding people after. That way you're doing it solely for you, whether they come in, whether they stay, whether they go. You are still in alignment with your happiness. So that's why it's so important for you to do it for yourself. Because when you do it for you, nobody can take it. And it's true to you. So you're going to make a change or have a change occur. And again, it feels like a transformation. Six of Raphael, embrace your inner child, new friends, or rekindled relationships, child or childhood. Many of you could be an earth sign. I'm getting a lot of earth energy. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Okay, so I also feel like many of you are going to be embracing new relationships, new friendships, and rekindled relationships also. Let's go ahead and get some clarity on that for deck three. Now, I definitely feel like there's a decision, okay? Two of wands, two of pentacles keeps showing itself through the deck, and this usually means that there are two different pathways. Some of you could be at a crossroads with making a decision. Remember, the best decision is going to be the decision that brings you closer to your happiness, your peace, your freedom, and your truth. Friendships that come from trust, a trustworthy place. So you could have been going back and forth between deck one and the, the orange stone and deck three for some of you. Let's see, there's going to be some harmony in your relationships. I feel like many people had to be kind of removed from the atmosphere for you to find this sense of frequency that feels like unity and wholeness. Unity, wholeness, and harmony. All right, let's see what your angels have to say. Cut the cords, okay? Now let's get some information on cutting the cords for deck three. One card, cut the cords. Why is this here for deck three? Thank you. The lovers, okay? So some of you guys are going to be cutting the cords. Now the lovers, let's get some clarification. You could be a Gemini. That's Gemini energy. We have the Queen of Wands here and Justice, okay? This seems like a relationship. Many of you are learning how to break habits when it comes to your love life. Certain habits allowing the right person in. Is something I'm hearing for you also, deck number three. And again, this is doing it for you. I'm getting a lot of serving vibes. So you guys have a lot of energy when it comes to serving other people, caring about other people, wanting good friendships, harmony. We have the wedding card, the marriage card. So your future foretells many situations that come into unity. So if you're in a situation in your life where there is no unity, then that is also an indicator that the justice card karma is here. That karma needs to be cleared. So if you have been feeling heavy energy, it's definitely karma and cycles that maybe have been on repeat that you haven't noticed, they'll start coming to the surface. And also deck three, I'm hearing not to judge yourself. You know, we all go through different stages. And something that I always say to myself is another level, there's another devil, okay? So you get higher and higher and closer and closer to this beautiful awareness it makes it easier to deal with things along the surface. But sometimes we may overlook things. And so that's what I'm seeing is if we overlook something, I am seeing to cut the cords. Now, also in this relationship, one, one card for the relationships. Love, love. Three of wands, okay? And six of swords. Nothing is back there is what I'm seeing, deck three. Okay? There's a lot of looking back. If you look on these cards, looking back what I did, what I should have done, why did I do that? Did I stay too long? You know, questioning certain things in your life, being in your head about some of these decisions. I'm sensing that there is a need for harmony with you and yourself. Let's see what else Spirit has for you, deck three. Knight of Ariel. There is so much to accomplish Make a very detailed plan. Being watched over by someone kind, I'm also feeling like it's important where your focus is at. You may need some more individual time to manifest some of your dreams. So for those of you who deal with relationships, it's a balance, okay? It's a beautiful balance that's required along your path. You are here to do much bigger things, and so your relationships will require much more depth. If you have chosen deck three, you could be connected to a twin flame, or a soulmate or many along your path and that is because of who you are you are here to do many great things like i've mentioned but you are also the keeper of the earth 
keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand behind you and beside you. So this would mean that you are here to fulfill a much greater purpose. So sometimes cutting the cords with people, situations, circumstances doesn't make sense. But again, it is necessary for you to turn the page in this new chapter. And in fact, it doesn't even feel like a new chapter, deck three. It feels like a new book. Okay. So some of you, even the way you see yourself, start seeing who you're going to become at your greatest potential and not where you are. You have the possibility to manifest that when you're able to see it. Okay. Let's see what's going on in the blockages fighting the outsider okay many of you have dreams when it comes to luxury and abundance there is a reason that future self has given that to you that vision of exactly whatever it is that you're here to obtain in this lifetime many of you could have dreams or certain flashbacks of seeing yourself in places it could be in certain houses it could be with certain materials or certain people this is almost like glimpses into kind of this portal where your future self resides. So that's honestly your future self showing you glimpses of what you're here to obtain. So if financial success is one of them, it's not my, by a mistake, it's not egotistical, you are connected to having more financial stability, okay? So as the outsider is here, something that you're being encouraged to realize also is that you are here to produce more abundance for yourself in an overflow matter. So this is a lot more financial success. Schizophrenia, we have the two swords. Many, many decisions are happening very quickly. Things are happening very quickly. And I am also sensing that it looks good on the other end. Okay, so balance is getting ready to be stable, and I also feel like justice is getting ready to be served. Let's see why justice is in the reverse. Nine of Wands. Yeah, many of you could be exhausted. Many of you could find yourself drained, overthinking certain things. The biggest feeling that I'm getting with you is to stay out of your head. Okay? Your critic, your inner critic. Okay? That version. It has to become much more of a unified connection. Remember, your mind should not be a dictator. It is just here along for the journey and allows you to also have the ability to think and imagine. But sometimes it could be a hindrance from us receiving messages from our heart and soul because we're in our head. Receptivity. So there are messages, and I'm seeing downloads also is something here, but I'm feeling there's been a lot of things going on. It, it feels like a dust storm, kind of. Many things have been left behind, and that's kind of why I feel like there's kind of a looking back here. And we also have harmony, okay? Now, this harmony that I'm sensing with the Ten of Cups, I'm, I'm genuinely feeling like having a harmony with oneself, with yourself, how you see yourself, loving that part, and also talking to yourself in a more loving manner. You know, again, being your biggest cheerleader, that's something I said also, I believe, in deck one. And so you're coming to this space, and I am sensing that this is a beautiful, beautiful journey. But what I'm seeing is it genuinely feels like many things around you have been, you know, kind of falling apart. I would even say burned to the ground. But here you are still standing. And it's not for nothing. So all of this feels like past energy of getting here, what you had to do to overcome some of these things. A lot of it was just fighting and getting out of your head. Okay, so that you can learn to trust more of your instincts rather than what you think. Some of you may fear making the wrong decisions. So that's also where you're learning how to trust. So this harmony is with oneself. Usually the Ten of Cups has a family. The Four of Wands has a marriage. But this is a, all about you. This is the greatest love that you can obtain is self-love and love of self. And again, I know that's become very cliche, but it is the truth. Snow Leopard, self-reliance. Many of you... The encouragement is to remember that you have what you need. You have all the tools, you have all the knowledge, you have all the expertise you need to make your next move, deck number three. So you're also learning how to create your own stream of income. Some of you are entrepreneurs. Some of you could be looking back on projects, okay? 
nothing is back there. Everything before you feels fresh and new, but also scary at the same time, which is why I'm feeling like there's still a little looking back here. Did I make the right decision? You are exactly where you need to be. You are strongly independent and often solitary. Integrity is important for your best outcome. Cloak yourself in invisibility because you walk with the shamans. Use your intuition, which is why you could have also been drawn to the stone. Lots of third eye, okay? Once the third eye awakes, you're able to see things spiritually, things that you cannot see with your physical eyes. Sometimes that could be scary, okay? Some of you may even get a glimpse of who you truly are. Making these changes, you know, some of you are meant to be millionaires. Yes, I said it, the word millionaire, okay? Some of you have this in your destiny, but do you say you see yourself as a millionaire? Do you see yourself in the mirror? Do you carry yourself? And remember, there is no stereotype, but do you feel like who you feel you are? Okay, because it's much deeper. If you don't feel like it, chances are, you know, Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection. Your life is unfolding perfectly. So focus on the here and the now because that's where you're able to create for the future. Okay? So we have the questions that future self wants you to ask yourself. Am I getting enough rest to restore my energy and fully show up to my life? Some of you seen I've taken a break from YouTube as far as, you know, being on camera. And that is because I needed to restore. I must be inspired to inspire you. See, I must be encouraged to encourage you. And some of you are teachers, educators. Some of you are light workers. Okay. And, and many of you, it feels like maybe you don't have an outlet, but the outlet will become source in universe. This is what I've learned also. Your outlet, your place of comfort, your place of peace will be in, in silence and solitude also. So you are the asset. This body is your vehicle. Notice how your body is feeling. So there's going to be some changes. Many of us are changing our diets, the way we eat. Remember, it affects how we see spiritually. How much sleep you are getting and what you can do to help your body rest. Some of you are being urged to take spiritual baths. I'm hearing spiritual baths using lavender, olive oil, white sea salt. I don't know why they're giving this to me. They never do. Uh, white sea salt, Florida water. Also, you can get all of this at a, your local spiritual store. And at least a 25-minute soaking bath. But... What really spirit is bringing me to is just all of the thoughts and all of the thinking and the anxiousness that there must be a pause. There must be a place where the waves calm. And I'm sensing that that is what's happening. So you are maturing and blossoming. Things are being moved out of the way also. But I am strongly feeling that right now is the best place in your life to be open and receptive. Signs are all around you. We have 33 on Estalia. So 3-3 three, three or 3-3-3 three, three, three could also be signs that your higher self and guides are connecting with you. And this is such a beautiful connection that you guys are going to have with, with your higher self. This isn't like spiritual, religious stuff. This is genuinely a loving connection with your higher self. If your compassion does not include yourself, it is incomplete. How can I infuse more self-love and compassion into my daily life? And again, I keep saying it's, it's your thoughts. It's the way you think about you. How do you think you are? Okay, because that's what you're perceiving. You can change that at any moment. But um, again, this is this is deep. deep. <laughs> uh, this is deep. Deck number three. This is deep. Okay. Um, a lot of this has to do with subconscious thoughts. Some of these thoughts were here, you know, way before you even understood life. Okay. Now, without getting too too deep, we have set strong boundaries. Meditate. Listen to your heart. Speak to yourself with compassion. That's what I was saying. Follow your strengths. Say no to something that isn't in alignment with your soul. That's one thing I'm hearing too, is not to be afraid to say no. Not to be afraid to say no. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter how big the event. If it's not in alignment with your soul, you're going against it. It will not be a, a beautiful experience that you could have. 
Okay, so you're learning to say that, but you're also learning to say yes to certain things that you may fear or you're afraid of. So it's tricky finding that balance. That's why, again, what you're learning deck three, this encouragement is don't focus on what you think you are. Focus on what you know you are. And that knowing is compassionate. That knowing is at peace. That knowing is full of love. Okay, so remind yourself, this seems like a confirmation. Many of the things you're on the outside looking in will be flipped. Some of you in the next five years, you're going to start seeing a financial increase that you never imagined. Okay, and I know these are deep, but I'm brave enough to say it. Stay far away from drama and negativity. I love this next one, deck three, our favorite. Ask for help and allow it, okay? This is something we're all learning how to do when we're very strong. We have to be strong all of our life, deck three, to get through many of these things just for peace, for happiness, for freedom. And so what you're learning is now to be open to help, but also allowing that help. And in order to do that, you must learn to trust others. The last thing was write down three things that you're grateful for. So let's see if there's any other messages regarding to this encouragement before we get on to our light worker order. All right, one more card for deck three, spirit. Judgment, that's a heavy card. That is a heavy card. It's usually a sign for a reunion, a calling, a purpose. Many of you will be, I'm sensing it, mentorship, entrepreneurship, financial freedom. These paths that you're creating, you, some of you are pioneers and you're looking for, okay, how do I do this? You will figure that out. You will create that new path. There is no how because nobody has done some of the things you guys will do. This is beautiful. Nobody has done some of the things that you have done or will do in this lifetime. Judgment, this is part of your calling, okay? Now, out of all four decks, this was the heaviest deck I had spiritually when it comes to waking up to a whole nother life. So now what you're learning behind is the old programming that you had about how careers have to look, you know, what your purpose has to be like, what your relationship has to be like. Everything that you're looking on the outside right now that inspires you. Some of you have dreams and goals and some of you are content creators. Again, some of you are healers. Some of you may not even have discovered that you are this yet. You may have to go back to deck one, which is the orange. You are learning who you are. The orange crystal, deck one. All right, let's move on to the light worker deck. Alchemical mutation. Your spiritual growth is changing your mind, body, and soul. It is very real. It is helping you fulfill all aspects of your divine destiny. It is awakening spiritual talents and attracting in new energies. This process will bring tremendous joy and satisfaction. The body changes as light enters. Alchemy is a catalyst for your transformation. So you may feel things with your body. Healing energy just as natural as they would set a dinner table is what you might experience. The spirit becomes a living reality in the body and the material world is experienced as an extension. So what you are learning is the balance of the physical world and the spiritual world. Okay, we still have to live here, but we are also on a mission to follow our heart's deepest desires, deck three. And I keep saying are because I'm right with you here in this experience. So stay focused on the the forecast. And that forecast is that you have already won. You have already won. There's not much for you to do. Just you being here is a miracle. You have already won. So a win-win outcome is for sure, but you must trust that and you must know that. And when you know that, there will be no reason to look back, only to look forward at this calling in front of you. This calling is the awakening to every single thing you desire. And it is real, very real. And so this is a beautiful transformation of the journey and the encouragement from me to you personally is to keep doing it. If nobody has already told you how much they're grateful for you, 
I personally am grateful for your energy and how you have changed the world because one person, one frequency can change so many people. And you have been in a place to be able to give advice, be able to mentor. Many people look up to you, deck three. And again, if this is all new to you and you didn't know this, you are waking up to even more of who you are. You guys chose deck number three. I hope I was able to encourage you and inspire you not to forget who you are, to keep following your dreams and reaching your fulfillment in this lifetime. Just simply enjoy deck three. Just simply love life and learn to enjoy the benefits of just simply existing. So. If you guys chose deck number three, don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement to you guys. In the meantime, I'm moving on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and encouraging messages from your future self. Your angel message is ease and grace. Along with that, we have two of Michael. It will all be better if you just make a decision. Over analyzing a problem, find a compromise. Let's see what that's about. The fool, playfulness, and consciousness. I love it. What I'm sensing for you, deck number four, and a very, very important part to your journey from where future is showing this vision of where you're going is to have fun. We have playfulness, we have consciousness. In fact, having more enjoyment and fun is part of being conscious. And I know that's crazy, but it is the truth. Our soul is a child, in a sense, enjoys playing and enjoys laughter and uh, enjoys just enjoyment. Our soul truly encompasses wanting to experience many things. So I'm feeling like your future self has an adventure before you, but many of you may not be ready or, f yeah, it seems like many of you feel like you're not ready to take this leap of faith. And so I'm sensing that there is a decision and whatever decision comes into play, this decision that you make is going to bring much more fulfillment, okay? So the 10 of swords, it requires you to have to end certain things in your life. Why is the Ten of Swords here in reverse? Page of Swords in reverse and the Four of Swords. Also number four, what I'm sensing is there could be a lot of distractions around that are also fogging your judgment and perspective here. There's a need for rest and rejuvenation here with the Four of Swords on top of the Page of Swords. Many of you are elevating on your journey. And this elevation requires you to kind of see this with an outside perspective, and that is to understand why you are here. And one thing that I'm getting is learn how to simply enjoy life. Learn to simply enjoy life. That's what I'm hearing. Six of Gabriel, congr congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project, awards, scholarships, and promotion. Things are moving forward. A wonderful new idea is coming. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Another thing I heard was distractions. Lots of distractions. Lots of static. And it's really hard to kind of sift out the next step and some of these great things that are getting ready to happen with all of the cloudiness around you. Or maybe this is something you may have found yourself in for some time. I'm seeing that there's a new idea and it says that clear up communication problems with others. You can be free, make a courageous choice to change your situation, not seeing things clearly. So basically what Spirit is saying is that there's a much higher level for you to see what's going on around you, okay? This is a lot of mental things. We have a lot of the blue. This is dealing with the swords energy. You could be an air sign, okay? This also means that your, your mind has Your mind has almost taken over the journey, kind of has taken over the ride. And that's what I'm seeing with the consciousness. There's a level that of, of elevation 
in this elevation you're going to find when you just rest and step, take a step back so you can see things more clearly. Now, at first I said you were going to an elevation. Now we have awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. So some of you could be seeing ones or one, one, one. This is usually an initiation or also the start of your spiritual journey. And honestly, what spirit is saying is in a simple way, what do you want to enjoy in this lifetime? And also understand that you are here for an experience. So many of you, that's the spiritual journey, is to learn why you're truly here. It's not to be overcomplicated. We also have 11, so that's the breakthrough. So yes, that is the breakthrough. Some of you are getting ready to have major, major, major spiritual breakthroughs. You can have more. You can have more. There is for you more for you to have, says your future self. The source, but do you know the source? Do you know where this comes from? Do you know where your ability of law of attraction comes from, where the source is? This is who you're connected to. How do you connect with source? Play, have fun, enjoy life. This is one of the easiest ways to connect with source, universe, God, whichever word you, you use, projections, okay? Many of you are just not seeing things clearly. And this is where seeing things from a higher perspective comes into play. We have aloneness, projections, many emotional things that are happening in your life. We have the queen of wands in reverse. Some of you may feel like you are not receiving as much inspiration or creativeness right now in your life. Something I'm hearing very clearly for you from your future self is to stay inspired. Okay. I must stay inspired to inspire you. I must stay encouraged to also encourage you with something I was sharing with deck three. So you might be going back and forth. This is an upgrade that's happening. Some of you could be Virgos. We have Virgo energy here. Let's see why the aloneness card is here in the reverse. Yeah, five of cups at the bottom. The fool in, in, the, in the up front. And I love this. It's time to take the leap of faith into something new. There's something more for you to have, deck number four. And this is an easy journey, okay? This does not have to be hard. I'm sensing that it is natural and flowing. And where it's natural and flowing, where there's ease, there will be grace. Flow with where there's ease. Not, not what is easy. There's a difference. What brings you ease? What naturally falls into place in your life? with the things that you love to do. The full card is here again, which is about taking that leap of faith into something new. New territories, walk through your fears. There's just so much going on with the fears and the doubts and, and your mind and everything happening. It's like, what's happening, Tarot Priest? You're going through an awakening, okay? There are many awakenings, but the truth behind an awakening is to awaken you to what? You know, many people say, stay woke. What does that mean? Stay awake. What does awake mean? It means aware. Be present in the here and now. So what are you waking to? Truth. And one of the biggest truths that your future self is bringing is the truth of why you are here. In the basics, okay? I know we have these big purposes, but just if we could just get back to the basic spirit is saying where it's not overcomplicated. Future self is also saying that you are awakening to the truth of just simply enjoying life, okay? We have all of these things we want to do and all of these goals and aspirations, but we forgot the basics. We're doing division without the addition. Future, future self is saying, get back to the basics of love. What do you love? and experience. What do you want to experience here? The world is yours. If the world were a playground, that's what future is saying. We have the playfulness, consciousness. That's part of your journey is to enjoy. Many people don't know that with the spiritual, you know, this spiritual stuff, you know, it's becoming a cliche, but the truth of spirituality is that your soul is an inner, it's a child, never grows up, focuses on and communicates through excitement and inspiration. So in order for you to see this, you must walk through and work through these fears. Fears that you might not have more. Lots of projections here. Let's see where this is coming from. Projections. Thank you.
Also understanding that what you have materially does not define you. Wanting and desiring to express yourself with materialisms, dream cars, nice homes, vacations, does not really tell you how much you're valued at. So do not seek your value through material things of what you have, through what your bank account says, what opportunities, where you are when you're 30 and where you are when you're 40 and all of these systematic things, you know, that I'm, I'm picking up so many different energies, again, deck four. I'm just knowing that you are amazing without all of it without the material things, without uh, exactly living the dream life that you would like to live in this moment, without having those accomplishments that you are already accomplished. So you're learning to stay true to yourself no matter what happens, deck four, no matter what is brought your way. That's part of the awakening. What remains after everything's destroyed? That's you. Feast, slow down and celebrate yourself. Okay, you might have gotten that card before. Some of you slow down and celebrate yourself. So that's where the rejuvenation is coming in. Take a break and celebrate. That's kind of what I had to do. Take a break and celebrate. I love that. For the past two months, I had to genuinely do that because I have to stay inspired. You know, um, everything I do makes a difference with me being able to channel these messages for you. We also have mural. Be your own first priority. So when you focus on the self, everything else is taken care of. You will become the best partner when you become your best self. So some of you who are in relationships or longing to be, you will become your greatest version of yourself when you become a priority. And then this gives you an attraction that's completely magnetic. Because anyone who is truly following their purpose is going to feel like they're glowing. Like, who is this person? Who is this person? So you guys are going through that. Phoenix, I love it. Whew, that's crazy. Mm -mm -mm. You guys could have been going back and forth between deck three and deck four because I was saying when everything was burned down to the floor and I was thinking about the Phoenix and we have the Phoenix here. And you know, when everything's destroyed, what remains? That's, that's you, that's the core of you. Um, wow, that's powerful. Phoenix, I love it. How's that for a happily ever after? Deck four, you always bring out this emotional side of me. Man, there's so much love here. So, so, so much love. So focus on that. Focus on that. I'm feeling like universe has so much grace for you. Okay? No matter what you've been through, no matter what you felt like you couldn't get past or conquer, there is a happily ever after. So be open. Now, the questions spirit wanted you to ask yourself, future self wanted to ask you, what are the dominant emotions that run your life? Wow, it's crazy. Spirit is really, really coming through with your guys' messages. Burn with desire. There is power in your desires. Let them be your fuel today. Your desires are your soul's wings and it's time to take flight. I love this. Okay, so this power that you're getting is coming from all of the madness. So all of the things that seem like they've lit up in your life are burnt, are burning or under construction, you know, because again, you're having this breakthrough. This is what you're going to use to drive this desire. Now, your power lies in your desire. So even if it's very, very small, it's important to understand that your desires are a form of communication from your future self. And your personal future self wants you to have more fun and enjoyment. Okay? Who are you becoming? Prosperous and independent. These were your two. You got the cat and the frog. The frog says prosperity. Let go of the past and embrace change. So yeah, the way you see yourself, you know, projects it. Projections are here. So you will be challenged to see yourself greater than where you are now. Okay? It's you versus you. Opportunities are close at hand. Hop into this new day with joy, meaning follow this wave of unknowingness, knowing that there's more for you. You don't know what, but you can feel it inside, that burning sensation. And it's going to lead you right to abundance and good fortune. Many of you have financial wealth here. I love it. Deck three also is getting that. 
Some of you could be millionaires in this lifetime. But imagine the limiting beliefs that you must conquer and break through to become that. That's what you're working towards, is becoming this greater version and seeing yourself in this greater light. You also got the cat, independent. You are a natural healer. Your intuition is strong. You don't have to go with the crowd. So some of you might, might learn that. Some of you might have to celebrate yourself. Some of you may find yourself bringing your own birthday cake to the party. You don't have to go with the crowd. Life supports you in every way. So all of your life support, you are already in tune with. You already have that. That's also what you're waking up to is understanding that you have support. The universe is here supporting your every wish. Okay. Now, the other question, what am I waiting for? Someone else to do it for me? So this happens when you start to make changes. When you start to make a decision and start making a, a change, that path opens up. Okay. So as soon as you're open to even more, more decisions will come. Some of you feel like you have, you know, two ways to go. Eventually you will have seven different ways. So how will you decide which path is best for you? That's why it's important for you to have this, this wake up call. And this wake up call is to trust your instincts. And what, what happens is we don't trust our instincts, we bump our head. That's usually what a wake up call is. So be open to some of those things and understand that it's coming from a loving place to get you right back on track and following what your heart truly desires. Are you waiting on someone else before you take the big leap? I can't, I'm telling you guys. Whew. It's crazy how potent your guys' messages are. What if you were to take life into your hands and forge your own unique path? I just said this, deck three, I just went back and said this. So some of you are the path creator. So you cannot wait for someone to create this path because you are the path creator. You're the pioneer to that path. You're the visionary. Um, that's why you're also taking place in what, what this spiritual awakening is occurring in your life. It's just integrating you. It's just accelerating you towards where you want to go. And these spiritual awakenings, they're kind of like turbo boosts. Okay? They get you there much faster. Put your heart into action and ask yourself, what risks can you take to move towards your dreams? Make a decision and do it. No more waiting for others. Do it scared. Take the leap. So some of you, your leap is going to be determined by your faith. So some of you will take the leap, but to determine how far you go is determined on your faith. See, the faith is what's going to carry you. The faith is what gives you the air underneath your wings to fly. Without it, we just hit the ground. We're grounded. Okay, so that's what you're learning is to have faith, to take these leaps into the direction of where your desires are. And the last card that you got was hold your center. Okay, let's see what this is all about. This is a personal message from your. Have you been rushing out to meet others, trying to bend or accommodate their needs at the expense of your own well-being and inner peace? Now you are to strengthen your own energy, your own boundaries, to find your ground. Firmly place your feet there and do not move. Feel your feet anchoring you like a beautiful tree. Let yourself experience certainty quietly. As you hold your center with commitment, courage, and consciousness, you are learning to trust in your own instincts, to take your own journey without comparison to the life path of another. That's why it's scary. It's like, who's done this? What can I expect? What will happen? It's the unknown because we don't know. And so you will find out when you take that leap of faith. And then for some of you, you may even teach others how to get through that same space in your, that in their life that you did in your life, which is a beautiful place to be. So overall, your encouragement is to remember who you are, to continue to keep going, to know that you're not alone, and to also understand that where there is ease and grace, where it's natural and flowing, is where you're going to best thrive. So if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and encouraging messages from future self. Remember to follow your freedom, follow your happiness, follow what brings you the most peace in your life. I don't know if I want to say that. 
So remember to follow your happiness, follow your freedom, deck number four. Don't forget to post your comments down below so I can get some words of feedback to you guys and some words of comments. So I'll see you guys in the next pick a card reading. Until then, love and light.